Disclaimer, this video is a tutorial on my Marketplace asset, now available on the Epic Games Marketplace. For anyone interested, there is a link in the description to find it. What is going on everyone? In this video, I am going to be showing you how you can combine the Magic asset with the ranged one. It's important to note that if you've made a large amount of changes to one of the assets, you may run into some issues that don't occur in this tutorial. However, I have made the combination as simple as possible and if you've got a decent understanding of Unreal Engine, you should have no problem fixing any issues that come up. The main thing to make sure is that you haven't deleted any of the empty blueprints I left in the pack and you haven't renamed them. It's also important to note that in this tutorial we will be migrating the magic asset into the melee asset as the melee asset is set up to receive copied functionality. This was stated on the magic marketplace asset page. During this video there will be lots of copy pasting of nodes and files. I will be cutting clips to prevent this video being too long, so please pause the video when appropriate and go at your own pace. And finally, I have a list of all the changes that are done in this video. If a list of changes might help you, be sure to check it out, I'll add a link in the description. Ok, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is create a project using the magic asset. When that's done, we're going to right click the content folder and fix up redirectories. This should have been done before, but was somehow missed. We're then going to hop into blueprints, components, and we're going to remove the AC underscore naming conventions for all of our components. Unfortunately, when submitting the magic asset, my reviewer asked me to add these naming conventions, but they didn't for the melee one. So we need to remove them on the magic asset so we can copy paste functionality over to the melee one without any issues. When that's all done, right click the content folder and fix up redirectories. Ok, now let's replace some files. In your file explorer, open up the magic asset project and navigate to the flexible combat system folder. This is the file explorer on the left side of the screen for me and then open up the melee project file explorer that we're moving the files into and do the same. This is the file explorer on the right for me. First, let's navigate to animation in both file explorers and copy over the magic animation folder. Then go back and go to meshes, character related and copy over the mage set folder. Then go back and go to sound effects and copy over the spells folder. Then go back and go to VFX and copy over the magic VFX folder. Then go back and go to widgets, textures, icons and select all the textures by shift clicking and copy and replace all the textures. Then go back and go to blueprints Anim notifies and copy over the trigger magic ability and trigger next ability notifies. Then go back and go to blueprints, AI, tasks and copy over the S magic strafe, T determined magic spell, T charge spell, T fire channel spell, T release spell, T fire spell, T projectile shot available and paste these into the melee project folder. Then go back and go to blueprints, spells and copy over all the spells. When the pop-up appears, click replace the file. Then go back and go to data tables and copy over the magic asset folder. Then hop into dialogue and copy over the magic training folder. Then go back and into blueprints, components and select the magic, buff and skill trainer component and copy them over and click replace. Go back again and into widgets and magic. Select all the widgets by selecting the top one then shift clicking the bottom one and copy them over and click replace. And finally go to maps and copy the magic training map and its build data over. 
Awesome, that is all the file explorer copy pasting done. Now it's time to open up both projects to copy over some functionality from the magic project. So open up both projects and in the melee project, navigate to a blueprints, AI, tasks, combat tasks, and open up the S magic strafe, T determined magic spell, T charge spell, T fire channel spell, T release spell, T fire spell, T projectile shot available, items. Sometimes Unreal Engine just needs a little jog that these copied tasks exist, so we open them up just to register them. Then, when that's done, go to Blueprints, AI, Behavior Trees, and open up the BT Mixed Combat in both projects. Select and copy all the magic functionality, then paste it into your Melee project. Position it where I have, and connect it to the starting selector. Now let's jump into the setting AI behavior service. Copy paste in the uh, magic functionality. Then on the switch attack style enum, connect the magic combat in. Now back into the content folder, let's go to animation and open up the ABP enemy AI and ABP player character. For both, let's copy the magic state and the magic aiming state and copy paste them in and connect them up. Do the same for the enemy AI. Now let's go to Blueprints, Components, combat status component and into the event graph. When setting this up, I accidentally deleted more nodes than I wanted to. However, if you click the link in the description, we can paste these nodes in. If for some reason the link isn't working for you, just reproduce these nodes as seen on screen. Now, let's hop into the taking damage component. Let's copy all of the different damage types and the spell hit anim functionality and paste it into the melee. Now it's getting confused thinking our stop burn is a function rather than event. So select do nothing for the burn pop-up and right click refresh the two calling nodes. Delete the old comments and connect up all the outputs. Now, hop into the function polymorph toggle and paste the magic functionality into the melee one. Now hop into the spawn lightning function and let's copy all the magic functionality and replace the old melee functionality. Now let's go back into the content folder, blueprints, AI, AI controller, paste in the madness functionality. You can ignore this if you've already added it in from the ranged asset. Now let's go to the blueprints, items, pick up items, and open up the BP consumable parent. Open up the activate buff function and copy paste the functionality in from the magic asset. Now into the content folder, open up the BP weapon parent, then into the spawn Niagara function, for the spawn system attached node, add the any weapon switch Niagara system. 
back into the content folder again let's go to blueprints ai and open up the bp enemy ai in the variables let's select custom mage type and check instance editable then let's hop into the function setup weapon and let's set the range over to 400. This will be the melee range if the mage switches to melee combat. This is set up for the daggers. Then let's change the mage output for this switch node over to the bottom weapon set. As I said, the mage is assigned daggers. And finally, let's go to content folder, data tables, open up the item data info data table and for each piece of mage armor we are going to want to change the image or texture over to the correct texture and if we click the drop down for equipment info we need to change the armor skeletal mesh over to the correct mesh for these simply type in mage i'd recommend copy and pasting it to save you time and match them all up the rings and neck armor have no mesh, so don't worry about those. So that is all the essential functionality passed over. There are still some areas missing to do with the maps I've set up, so I'll quickly go over those. In the arena level, we can copy paste the mage, spell trainer and cloth fender over if you want. The main menu, BP magic character, is missing two fireball Niagara VFX and a magic idol animation. The BP Arena Spawner is missing a Niagara VFX called NS Teleport. Add this on in the Spawn System node. And that my friends, is everything passed over. Let me know in the comments or in Discord if you have any issues and we will get those figured out together. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the combat system and my channel. It means more than you know. I'll see you all next time. Peace!